Well, good evening, folks. It's The Real Captain Kirk here. It's the 3rd of October, Sunday evening. A lot of folks say, why do you say The Real Captain Kirk? And I say, well, back in the day, I was dating myself some 32 years ago. I uh, had a, a great walk um, with this, I say, I knew him before he was famous, General Storm at Norman Schwarzkopf. But again, forever got me to think differently in terms of statistics and cycles and pretty much had to dump everything we learned at Rutgers in terms of math, meteorology, physics, you know, um, pretty much uh, meteorology. You had to throw it out the window if you're going to do your head weather, which is what we do today. And then that's a long ago, my wife and I got to meet this. I say the imposter on TV, love this guy. But uh, any event, did uh, did finally get to meet. Uh, they say you don't want to meet your superhero, but uh, I got to kind of meet my superhero. Uh, one thing we'll be doing this week here on Tuesday, I think around 3 Eastern time, is talking to the Allergy and Asthma Network folks about our fall winter outlook and how it's going to influence uh, asthma suffering. Could be severe, unfortunately. Uh, so for the 80 plus million folks that suffer from that, you might want to tune in here. I think it's uh, freely available to those that uh, suffer from asthma. As we warn and we will talk about in our, um, our outlook here with the asthma folks is that uh, a double dip La Nina. We've talked about this uh, previously for, for many, many months now, but uh, as expected, it's happening. In fact, the models indicate a moderate, maybe strong La Nina, uh, for sure moderate. The interesting thing, if you look below the surface of the water there, that chart inset left there, very, very cold, much below normal water temperatures, uh, just below the surface of the equatorial Pacific. So models are hinting at a moderate to strong event for this winter, and that does have implications for um, our winter early uh, here in North America. So a lot of other cycles and statistics that we'd factor in, but um, again, one of many cycles that uh, will certainly influence the winter. Looking at last week's summary here, and uh, this is now big map or mean temperatures versus last year on a retail calendar. Here in the U.S., hot, five degrees warmer than last year, warmest in four years, third warmest in 36 years, so much above average temperatures nationally. Uh, Six percent drier than last year, driest in 13th, 12th driest in 36. So unfortunately, this time of year, our big retail clients, supply slide clients, like cold, wet, stormy, snow, anything they can get to make you think to buy a fall merchandise. Unfortunately, this probably didn't do it. Uh, even up in Canada, it was a little bit warmer, warmest in four years, much above average temperatures up there. If there's a good news here, it's you know for last week, it's probably uh, uh, Alaska, Western Canada, Western U.S. Over in the U.K., again, 3.1 Fahrenheit warmer, warmest in four years. So again, above average there. Uh, finally got some wet weather. Europe a little bit cooler, about average temperatures. The cool spot's Russia. Again, so below average across Russia with about five and a half cooler. Very hot, hottest in 36 years in China. Uh, spring down under, but uh, again, coolest in five years, what is in five years for the start of their spring season down there. Over in Brazil, a little bit cooler, still much above average temperatures, um, what is in seven. The maps since that left are the temperature and precip trends versus last year. Looking at this week, again, 3 through 9 October, so these maps now are mean temps versus average. Again, hot, you know, near record hot up in the Dakotas and the Plains, Midwest, even getting into the east. Uh, so here in the U.S., about 3.3 warmer than last year. Number one warmest in 36 years, so it's about as hot as it can get. If there's any good news, again, for those cold season merchandise folks, it's probably in the west. 77% wetter than last year. We're going to get a little bit of a tropical system. Uh, probably won't get named, but it'll head uh, pretty much up the Appalachian Mountains here the, you know, later this week. So 77% wetter if that system materialized. What is in three years? Tenth, what is in 36 years? Uh, map inset left is the precip versus average. Peak of the hurricane season here. So we still got about a, two months to go, I guess, in terms of the calendar. But, you know, October can certainly be a pretty active month, and it's certainly leaving up to that. Um, we're already up to 20 named storms. So we got Victor that um, formed and kind of fell apart, and Sam's still out there in the central Atlantic. Little system off of the Bahamas there. We'll have to see if that forms here this week. Um, pretty low chance right now, but, again, the... Uh, the tropics are certainly uh, active and certainly favorable for development. Weather trends had worn. I think we were the top dogs here in terms of predicting a, a very high number. We were a little nervous about that. But uh, last year we had 30 name systems, and our prediction this year was 23. So, again, uh, of all the other folks out there from, you know, Colorado State to NOAA and some other major weather firms, uh, we were pretty much top of dogs here in terms of predicting 23. We're only at 20 right now, but um, pretty sure we're going to get there. You know, so we've got, uh, again, a good solid month and a half at least here of uh, activity. So we'll, we'll see how that materializes. Next week, again, hard to believe, uh, middle of October here, but um, hot again, uh, 3.6 warmer than last year, number one warmest in 36 years for the U.S. overall. Again, dichotomy of the country here, cold west, uh, warm east, central. 36% uh, drier than last year, dries in, 30, dries in six years, uh, eighth dries in 36 years. We'll have to see, again, any tropical system can certainly change these uh, outlooks, but um, one thing you do notice there in the, in the precip map to the northwest in the mountains is more snow. So there's been some snow in the in the northern Rockies and Colorado even. Um, in fact, even um, may see some snow here again uh, in the high Sierras of California. So looking at the two-week aggregate here for 3 through 16, 16 October here, mean temps versus average on this map. Again, hot spots are going to be in North America, eastern central, and cool spots would be Alaska, western Canada, western U.S. 
Europe, kind of a mixed bag, and uh, again, continuing that cool trends across uh, Russia, Russia, the Middle East, and uh, a little bit getting into northern, um, northern China there. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week, and uh, we will be back here this time next week. Mm-hmm.